Good morning to all of my trombone players. Welcome back. If you have not seen the Brass Week 2 video, it is on this channel. Please watch that video first. Make sure that you are comfortable with everything we talk about in that video. Then we can come back here and talk about Week 3. So as always, when we're at home playing our instrument, we want to take one or two minutes to warm up our lungs and our lips using the air and breathing exercises and our lip mouthpiece exercises. If you don't remember what those are, we talk about that in our week two video. So once we're all warmed up, we can put our instrument together. Let's review a few things about how to hold our trombone. We'll start. Trombone goes on the left shoulder. Let me turn around here. Left shoulder. And when we put it together, we want to be looking to make this nice V shape with the two parts of our trombone. Let me flip this around. We're aiming for that nice V shape here with the two parts of our instrument so that when we put it over our shoulder, it can sit nice and comfortable here and the mouthpiece can be right at our lips. So with our left hand, we're gonna use our peace sign fingers and our thumb to grab onto this little bar here. And then in the right hand, peace sign fingers, thumb to hold on to the slide right here so that it can move all the way down, all the way back up nice and comfortably. So on Thursday, we talked about partials and slide positions. Let's start with partials. So when we have our slide all the way up and we make our noise, nice deep breath. We can actually change that sound by making our air faster or slower. If we blow with much faster air, the sound goes higher. Let's blow with even faster air, even higher sound. And then if we slow down our air, just by slowing down, no movement in the slide at all. Something to help get comfortable with that and to have fun with at home is a nice deep big breath and then trying to switch between our partials by speeding up our air and slowing down our air. So let's start at the bottom with nice slow air and then we'll speed it up as we take our breath. again to bring our partial down. One more time, that's... That's just by slowing down and speeding up our air. Once we're comfortable with that, we can pick a partial. Let's try... That's a pretty good one. And we'll open up our slide lock so this can move around. Nice. Peace finger thumb. And we're going to start on that sound, that note. And then we'll move our hand all the way out. And you'll notice as our slide gets longer, our sound goes down. And what we know from our partials... our air slows down, our sound gets lower. So when we lower our slide, our air has to slow down a little bit to help that sound get lower. So we'll start with fast air. And then slow down our air just a tiny bit as we go all the way to the bottom. Then we can start on a lower partial. We were here. Let's drop that down. Let's slow down our air. And then we can push our arm all the way up. And as we push that slide out, just remembering to slow down our air just a tiny bit to help that sound. 
then we can try that backwards. We'll put our slide all the way down, start with slow air, and then we'll speed it up as we move our slide up to help that sound get higher. Right. Let's put it back down again. Let's use a little faster air this time. One more time. And now we're using our fastest air to get that high sound. All right. And those are some things that you can play with and have some fun with over the weekend to make very creative, very fun noises with your trombone. The last thing we talked about on Thursday was our slide positions. Now on the trombone, we can raise and lower our slide all we want. What we don't have on the trombone are buttons like a trumpet does. When a trumpet wants to switch from one note, one sound, to a different sound, they just push different buttons. And that will, it does the work for them. Not to brag, but trombones, we get to do all that work ourselves using slide positions. So instead of having no buttons down on our trumpet, we just have our slide all the way up. And instead of pushing a button down on our trumpet, we're just going to move our slide down oh, just a tiny bit. And then instead of hitting a different button to go even lower, we just move our slide even lower. How about that? And we can keep moving it down in tiny little bite-sized pieces until we're all the way at the bottom. Here's what that might sound like. and have some fun with moving from different slide positions. Now on our trumpet, when we press a button, it goes down and up super quickly. Boom, 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 boom. And on our trombone, we want to be thinking in the same way with our slide position. Boom, 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 boom. Just snapping it, boom, 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 place to place to get us the sound that we want without having it kind of smear the note. The sounds kind of smear together a little bit. When we snap that hand, it makes all of the different noises very clear and very easy to hear. All right. Uh, Thank you to my trombones. I hope you have a lot of fun playing around with those new notes, those new sounds at home this weekend, and I cannot wait to see you on Thursday. Have a wonderful night.